how do you start this video? Okay, um, hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection, and I'm not doing this video to brag, I thought it would just be fun to show you, like, the makeup I have, I guess, yeah, um, there's people outside, and I'm filming in a different spot today, but this is just for the intro, so, yeah, so I'm just going to get to the video now, is there anything else I have to say? The lighting is like washing me out right now. I apologize so much. Do you like my shirt? It says keep calm and run on. Uh, okay. So this is my makeup area. It's just on my dresser. And I have like all my makeup stuff in an organizer right in the middle of my dresser. So I'm going to start with this right here. This is just a makeup organizer or organizer and um you can pretty much just get it from anywhere so i'm just going to start off with right here so up here i have my brushes so this is like um like a blush brush i think and it's by elf and then i have another brush and then two eyeshadow brushes and i mainly use this one and then I have my eyeliner in here. This is just a Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner, and I just keep in here face downwards so the ink could like come to the top or bottom or wherever it is. Coming to right here, this is where I keep my like main makeup, like makeup that I use every day or like recently. So the first thing I have in here is just this EOS lip balm, and this is just um, the lemon drop one, and I'm so sorry it is dirty. The next thing I have is this CoverGirl Smoochies, like, lip balm? Yeah, like, lip balm. It's, like, not really, like, a lipstick, and it's kind of shimmery. I like it. And this is in hashtag text me. Yeah. Next thing I have is this mascara by Maybelline, and this is just the falsies one in the waterproof one, and it's a really nice mascara. Next, I have this Color Whisper by Maybelline, and this is in Berry Ready. Next I have this lip product and this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Lip Color and it has SPF 15. And it's a nice like nude color, like kind of like a deep nude color and it's in Barely Legal. Next thing I have is just this eyebrow brush and I just use this to like brush my eyebrows so they look like neater and such. Next thing I have is this balm stain and this is by Wet n Wild and the color is in Nudist Colony and it's a really nice nude like it's it's, it's a, like a light kind of nude like a light color nude and I just like to put this on the center of my lips because it just looks really pretty and natural and I just love it so much last thing I have in here is one of the Maybelline blip, lip lacquers and this is in what is this in um Mauve Mystique and it's a nice deep purple color but it doesn't really show up like purple on your lips like after a long period of time it kind of turns like a a dark pink but I love it so much and the smell it smells really nice too now moving on to these three draws in the first draw I have my face products like things I put on my face not my eyes so first thing I have is this Maybelline baby skin pore eraser and I don't use this too much just because it kind of oils up my skin sometimes whenever I use it so I don't even use it that much but every now and then I will next thing I have is this Garnier Fructis BB cream and the, my color is in medium deep and it's a pretty nice everyday BB cream. I don't wear BB cream like often. Like I don't even wear face makeup that much just because I don't really like need it, need it and if I do then I just put a little bit or if I'm going to a special event or something like that. Next thing I have is this L'Oreal True Match Concealer and this is in medium slash deep and it's a nice concealer. It just blends so perfectly on your skin. It feels like there's nothing there. And a little goes a long way with this, so I just, I love it so much. And the only thing I don't like is that it comes with like a really small bottle, but that's okay. The lighting just turned like orange and weird, I'm so sorry. But the last thing I have in this straw is a sheer cover like foundation powder thing just to apply over foundation if you're wearing any foundation. In the second draw, I just have kind of products that I don't really use that much. Oh, I thought there was something back there. But anyway, the first thing I have in here is another mascara, and this is waterproof, and this is the Maybelline um, Rocket Volume 1. 
I have another mascara, and this is actually a sample from Hype Nose Star. Yeah, I don't know. This mascara was kind of very clumpy, so I didn't really like it that much. But I still kind of just have it in here, just because. Next, I have two eyeshadows, blue and pink. And this is when I first got makeup. Like, the first time I ever got makeup was from my friend. She gave it to me for my birthday, so I just still have them in here. And this is good to keep for, like, Halloween and such, even though Halloween just passed. Next, I have this eyeshadow from, from Maybelline, and this has been, like, discontinued, I'm guessing. I don't know, like, it's, I had it for, like, a pretty long time. It's called Shadow Stylist, and it's kind of a weird mess. Nope, not mess here. It's kind of a weird eyeshadow, like, let me show you. This eyeshadow comes on a brush like this, and it's a pink eyeshadow. It's pretty nice. It blends kind of nice all over your lid, but I wouldn't recommend it to, like, wear it every day. But once again, I just have it just because Halloween or something. Next, I have this hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, and this is just in Caribbean Escape. And I love this so much. I love Bath & Body Works products so much. The last thing I have in this draw is a Milani eyeshadow. And I don't know what this is called, just because it doesn't really have a name to it, but it's a nice shimmery brown color. Going on to the last draw, all I have in here is, well, a bunch of lip products. I am a lip junkie. It is so horrible. Like, I have so much lip things I don't even wear, like, that much. But the first thing I have in here is just this e.l.f. lip gloss, and I don't even wear it that much, like I said. Next, I have this Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick in pink and proper, and it's just a very shimmery pink color. This next thing I love to use during the summer, this is a Neutrogena Lip Smoother, and it has a cooling hydrating gel, which is really nice. And it has SPF 20, and it smells so good. This is perfect to use in the summer, especially because it has SPF, and the color is in Sheen 50. I have this Neopolian. I never knew how to pronounce this, but it's Neopolian. Um, this is like a lip gloss type of thing, and I definitely do not wear this at all. But I kind of just have it just to have it. And I also have another one in like this frosty pink color too. I have this Stila Lip Glaze, and the color is in Tropica Punch, or Tropicana Punch. Nope, it's Tropica Punch. And it's a very deep pink color, and it has, like, sparkles in it, kind of, but not, like, too sparkly, if you know what I'm trying to say. But it's a really nice lip color you can just, like, wear every day. Next, I have this, mm, I was about to say Maybelline, it's not Maybelline. This is actually by Bath & Body Works, and this is one of their lip glosses, and it actually pump, plumps up your lips, but I don't really use it that much. But I really like how the packaging looks, it's like ombre, and it's so pretty. I just have a chapstick from Bliss Text, and this is one of the limited edition ones, and I have a bunch of lip balms, but... Meh, you never know. Better safe than sorry. Next, I have this Philosophy Acne Treatment, which I got for my sister, but I don't even use it that much, because... I don't know. And the last thing I have in here is a Nivea Lip Butter in Macadamia Kiss, and I love this so much. It smells so good, and this really works. I honestly love this better than my EOS, because it just moisturizes your lips so much better than the EOS, and I just love it so much, and, like, little goes a long way, and only problem I have with it is, like, opening the container, like, it's kind of hard to open the container, and sometimes I get frustrated while opening it, but so that is all in my little makeup container, and now we're going to move over here where all of my eye palettes are. Starting off here, I have a hairbrush, and this is the Michelle, or Michael, it's Michelle, right? Michelle Mercier um, hairbrush, and I have very thick hair, so I kind of need this brush, and it works really well. I do recommend that you try it. Now going on to the actual makeup. First thing I have is my Estee Lador palette, and it's kind of like messy inside, so I'm not even going to show you, but it's a really nice palette to wear every day, and I don't really, like, wear eyeshadow like that, but once again, I just have this for, like, Halloween or any special event like that. Let me take some time to explain this palette. I am so sorry. It looks messy, 
but this is the first palette I ever got when I started to wear makeup when, it was when I was like 10 years old but I didn't really like wear it I just kind of had it and I got it for my friend it came with the other two eyeshadows that you saw before and this is like a helpful and non-helpful palette like it has all these colors like blue and yellow and I actually use the orange yellow and white for Halloween next thing I have in here is oh this Sephora palette and this is actually not mine this is my sister's but this is just a Sephora palette in Wild Safari I think yeah next thing I have is this Me Make Me Overs Essential palette and I love this palette so much let me show you what's inside this is the palette it just has two lip colors and nine eyeshadows and then two color blushes and I don't use the lip colors or the blushes I just use the eyeshadows and I mostly use this brown color and the black color and also comes with two brushes like a lip brush and eyeshadow brush but they kind of fell out but anyway this is how the palette looks and this is by far my favorite palette so far I just have a hair headband in here. Second to last thing in my makeup collection is this lip palette and I also got this with the eyeshadow palette and I don't even use this that much but I kind of just have it just to keep it because you know I got it as a gift from somebody and you know you should really keep what you get so it kind of sounds weird. Is that a real quote? Anyway yeah I just have a little container and like a mini sampler perfume and then the last thing is this Serious Skincare Eyeshadow Palette. And this is like the perfect summertime palette. This is how the inside of the palette looks like. You just have a matte brown color and then a kind of shimmery gray eyeshadow color, a blue, and then a sandy color. And I love this palette. Like, it's perfect for the summer. Like, the blue and the sandy color is just perfect for the summertime so that's why I don't really use it that much so that is it to my makeup collection I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video